Good day. My name's Graham Gordon Thomas and I'd like to make a few comments about the pyramids. There's something about these really large blocks that I can understand. It only takes two people to move them if you know what you're doing. And I say that because as a mason and I worked in big in blast furnaces at the bottom of blast furnaces are uh, very large blocks weigh about a ton. They're quite large and it just takes two people to put them into place and they've got to be placed extremely accurately. So I know there's a procedure that can move very very large blocks into place. Now I'm not going to reveal what that is right now because of all the archaeologists and all the orthodox people and all the university people and all the academy I have a difficulty coming to terms with there are things they don't know and I have no experience in. But when it comes to the um, the length of time it took to build the pyramid, then I think we have to look at things in context of what the Bible says about that. And I'm not a Bible basher. The only thing about the Bible is uh, out of context is the idea there's only one God when maybe the ancients were understood uh, there was another different idea of what a God was and uh, that's something I'll allow uh, the theologists to discuss but it's the length of time some of those people in the first in the New Old Testament lived that may give indication something else was going on in the earlier development of Egypt and those sort of places because it said Abraham lived up hundreds of years and so did many others now if that was true and we take that back who was Abraham I have no idea because there's no photographs of him or pictures or depictions of him but if we take the fact that they Bible, I mean, Genesis says uh, Nephilim were you know, giants and they bred with human females. Was Abraham a Nephilim? This is just a, was it? I mean, they lived such a long time. When you look at the history of the area of Egypt, for one, and there's many other places which were established sometime who knows how many thousands of years ago better off staying out of the time factor in this but the amount of time he was alive says that yes some leader could have built a pyramid the big pyramid in their lifetime because that would allow then the length of time required to put two and a half million blocks away now putting, we know, if you want to put two and a half, I've worked on jobs that there has been millions of blocks, and some large ones. I know how much organisation is involved in a job with three and a half million blocks. And I know how long it takes, and I know how many men is required to do that job. How long it takes to lay the type of blocks they are, and prepare them each block has to be cut for a pyramid which how long does that take imagine how long it takes to cut each block no matter even if you use technology even if you use a saw or other technology to remove the blocks from the rock quarry you have to transport them all the logistics put them all together you're not going to place those blocks in that pyramid in 20 odd years it may have taken hundreds of years, and I'm suggesting it was a very, very long-term project. Somebody had, whoever it was, had very long-term ideas about establishing a colony on Earth of these superior people, using Earth people, or humans, normal humans, as a sort of workforce. Why I say that, and this goes back to the elongated schools, is that as an evolutionist, I've written a book on evolution. It doesn't matter what it is, but I've written a book on evolution because I've studied evolution all of my life. 
I combine that with uh, working as a refractory engineer or an engineer and gives me some uh, sort of insight to maybe uh, how things were done and maybe there's uh, the evidence, anthropological ed evidence about or archaeological evidence or paleontological evidence about schools which is the interesting part. Now as an evolutionist I can see the trace basically the skull shapes regardless of what anyone says I can see that you can trace the course skull shapes of you, humans, hominoids right back to there are some links missing but we can understand why they are missing because of the geology, the ice ages etc 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 that means that it's not that easy to preserve skeletons when there's great catastrophes and all that sort of stuff and they've happened many times in the Earth's history. It doesn't happen once, it happens on a regular basis. So we can trace the history of our skeleton and uh, our skull shape back reasonably well. It doesn't matter when it happened, the time factor is the best thing to stay, stay out of the time factor. That's where it gets everyone's confused. Oh, the time, the time. Forget the time bit. Forget time. Time is a man-made thing. For ac let academics play with time and people who want to organise society. It's the lack of preceding skull shapes to the elongated ones that is the evidence that they are possibly were aliens and the thing about everyone can't imagine aliens travelling from long distances well you know, some of us can because if you take away the time factor everyone worries about time now if you've got people who lived long enough to build a pyramid 800 years or whatever You've got people who live long enough to travel awful long distances through space. Now, you can't just can't get a picture here of a possibility, and I'm not saying there were aliens. I'm not saying any of these things may be fact, but I'm saying you can look at evidence and look at the uh, what happened from a different perspective if you know that not everything in the Bible is true, but a lot of it may well be based on some sort of observation and how long these people live well everyone poo poos it we all have then you think about it how long would it take to build a pyramid like that ships are pretty they're big pyramids in egypt the major ones are all oh, everyone the major attractions how long does it take to build that how long does it take to arrange the logistics now, i've done a lot of project management in my time and i can see if someone gave me that job to do build a pyramid, crikey, that's an interesting thing, build one, build one, let's see if we can put it together, how do you build one, right, and then uh, no one's put a computer program together yet to say, oh, that's how it was built, <laughs> which is a little bit odd, and um, anyway, it's just a thought on the pyramids themselves and how long it took to build it, be built, were much, much longer, and I'm suggesting the reference is the age of Abraham and other biblical figures who will live to hundreds of years gives maybe some hint of how long the pyramid took to be built given everything we know about it you can plonk a block in every few minutes if you like but setting up the king's chambers and all like that that takes time believe me take setting up fancy the basic inner structures and all the other things, the canals underneath, that takes time. 20 odd years is not long enough. No, we're not long enough. Anyway, this is Graham Gordon Thomas putting his two pounds worth into this discussion about things such as how long did it take to build the pyramids? Who built them? And the lack of paleontological evidence in regards to school shapes is something that ought to be taken as a sort of interest in because not all the school shapes were done by uh, changing the schools by um, transforming schools with strictures and what have you like the primitive uh, people still do today in Vanuatu. The fact that they teach is coincidental around the world that the people uh, do something to strange their uh, babies' head shapes for out of prestige is something in itself 
uh, evidence of a, a worldwide culture, a worldwide influence. Somehow someone was wandering around a long time ago, these skull shapes, and I thought, well, that was a sort of style to have to make look, look like an elite. Anyway, these are just a few thoughts on how long did it take the pyramid to be built. And I'd say it took, it took hundreds of years. Pretty well sure it would take hundreds of years, no matter how what technology you had. It would take a long, long time to put two and a half million blocks together like that. Thank you, Graham Gordon Thomas. I've put this two pennies worth in.